hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Kayleen honey if it's your first time here so today I want to share with you guys about a self-love journey okay a healing journey and especially self-love before getting into a relationship I feel that it's just so important if you find yourself on a self-love journey if you've been considering it <laughs> then you're in the right place, okay? I'm with you. And I think that it's such a gift because so many of us just go through life, even from relationship to relationship, and we never focus on the relationship with ourselves, okay? Your relationship with yourself is the most important one. Think about any time you've ever been heartbroken or gone through a rough time in your life, you know? A lot of times you can feel like your whole world is crashing and like you can't make sense of life and it's just so hard it's so tough and I think that a lot of that comes from not having a solid relationship with ourselves first we are not taught how to love ourselves in the world we're taught to seek the love on the outside to like fill a gap inside and so on this channel I wanted to share with you practical ways that we can love ourselves, learn about ourselves, know ourselves, what healing really looks like because it takes effort. It's not so easy to just be like, oh, I'm single, so I'm healing. Or, you know, I have a relationship with God, so I'm healing. Like, it takes effort and sometimes it's hard, but I'm here with you and we're here together as a community to just work together, encourage each other, and just grow you know which is what life is all about and so yesterday was kind of a rough day for me and i and i wanted to share this because this is a place to be raw and real and authentic healing self-love these are not glamorous things this is not it's not so easy as taking a bubble bath and forgetting all your problems or smoking some weed and pretending that you're okay if you're not and a huge thing is learning to recognize your emotions, feel your emotions, and know that your emotions do not define you. Okay, because I think so many people are afraid to feel sad sometimes or angry or any type of grief, anything uncomfortable, because they feel like, oh, well, that means I'm in that place forever. No, it could literally, literally be a minute or two. It's a it's a fleeting emotion when you're in flow and you allow it. Your emotions don't define you, but they are a guide to what's going on inside of you. And so when I talk about a relationship with self, I mean being in tune with yourself, being present with yourself, and being a friend to yourself, being gentle. And this is the relationship you, you focus on during a self-love journey. Okay, and so... I've shared about being celibate. I've been celibate for years because this is the journey that I've been on. And celibacy helps you because, and being single helps you during a self-love journey because you're bringing all that attention, all of that love, all of that focus to self. We have regular life going on, right? Maybe you're a parent, you have your work, you have your family, your friends, so you have your regular life. But when it comes to like intimacy, which means like spending time and effort in a relationship, you have the self-love journey is about that relationship being with you. A lot of times you will find yourself alone and this is on purpose. So you have to dismiss the ideas from the world that being alone means you're lonely or miserable or whatever. You're alone for a reason. This is a gift. You're alone so that you have this time to focus and heal yourself and get to know yourself. Life can move so fast. So that's why we wanna be intentional and conscious on our self-love journey. So what happens during a self-love journey? You're going to get to know who you are, okay? Our personality that we've developed. For me, I've looked at things like my birth chart. It's helped me to understand myself better, understand myself. I've recognized, see, because when you're alone, you can become more self-aware. You notice your moods, your behaviors, your habits, and you can become intentional with becoming 
who you choose to be and also discovering what's always been there. And so it's a very intimate, deep journey and it's beautiful, it's raw and real. Because let's say you feel alone or you feel lonely, that can have feelings surface. You know, like you're gonna be able, on a self-love journey, you're gonna be able to face your fears, your insecurities, your shadow self, your shadows, the things that have been suppressed and hidden in our bodies for so long because it might take you, your self-love journey might might take you back to your childhood when something happened. Something might arise into your awareness that needs healing, it's wanting your attention. On my self-love journey, I've paid more attention to my dreams. Okay, what are my dreams speaking to me? What triggers me? like out in the world or how am I feeling? You get to know this personality that we have created, like our self identity. You get to know yourself. And let me tell you, this is so important. When I talk about self love before a relationship, it's important because you get to spend time with yourself. Before you jump into a relationship, like do you even know who you are first? Before we can ask someone else to love us, we have to love ourselves and love all of you. It's very hard to love yourself if you don't even know who you are. The good, the excellent, the brilliant, the bad, the ugly, the bad, the things you wanna work on, your flaws, you know? And what I've really been learning, you guys, is that it's not always about completely ridding yourself of the things that you perceive to be bad. It's more so about self-awareness and knowing your needs and what you're gonna need from a partner for yourself. This is how you show yourself respect and love. You know, what do you need? What's your love language? You know, for me, it's words of affirmation. I, from getting to know myself, from my past, from my how I am, my soul, that helps me feel loved. I, you know, being told often that I'm loved and appreciated and those types of things, that's what helps me feel loved. It's not about shame and it's not about being like, oh, well, be stronger, um, be more confident in yourself. You don't need outside validation, like that's true. But at the same time, my self-love journey has showed these things to me that that helps me feel loved and that's okay because we all have vulnerabilities we all have not even weaknesses but just it's about knowing your needs we all have needs as humans and our ego will have us thinking that if you that you're too needy or that oh you know your needs don't matter be strong tough and that's the mask that's the that's the persona but when you are on a self-love journey you get to become sensitive to yourself it's your chance to do this and discover yourself and it's so beautiful and so I encourage you to start a self-love journey, you know, and it's about, yes, being in hermit mode for a bit, you know, and being separating from, and just being with yourself because from the time you're five years old, you're in school to like, what, 21 or like 24, 25, if you're in college, then you go straight into a nine to five. And then a lot of people are partying on the weekends and it's like, when do you have the time to know yourself? First, you're growing up, and then it's like you're just thrown into the world. So a self-love journey is something that you have to be intentional about, conscious about, decide to do. And sometimes life will force you into it. <laughs> you know, like maybe you'll get too shaken up by the world, and you're like, wow, I need to heal. Like, wow, I've, been, I've gone through it. Sometimes a breakup causes it, or I know people are here who are like stopping a substance, or, you know, just want or on a spiritual journey, getting close to source, knowing yourself, creating your reality and, and empowering yourself. And so self-love is that healthy foundation that we need. And sometimes it's rough. And I just think, I think it's rough because if you've just been in relationship after relationship or when you're new on this journey, it's this balance. Like we need the outside and 
it's okay to receive love, but also the love starts from within. And a lot of times we can feel like, oh, we're not whole, but we are. But first we have to know ourselves. I think it's so beautiful too, because when you form a deep relationship with yourself, when you learn how to properly love yourself, you embody compassion, empathy, you learn what love really is, which means kindness, patience, you know, grace, because we're not perfect, right? So like, let's say you get mad about something, something triggers you, you do something wrong. Self-love is about accountability. Okay, because you don't want to gaslight yourself. Take accountability. But then love and grace, you know, forgiving yourself and just doing better next time, learning from your mistakes. So when we work on this relationship with ourselves, now we're setting that healthy foundation to be able to love another properly. Because the mistakes that so many of us make would be going into a relationship without properly healing ourselves and working on ourselves and then hurting someone that you truly love. And it happens all of the time because we're not taught how to love and the, it starts within. So the self-love journey tells you how to be there for yourself, love yourself, respect yourself, be patient with yourself, purify yourself, be close to source, like be a conscious being, raise your vibration, sacrifice, serve, like all everything that is love. You learn how to be in that vibration and in that energy. And now you're in a place to serve another because love is also about service. So it's like you can embody those things for a healthy relationship. So this is why self-love is so important before getting into a relationship, a conscious relationship, sacred relationship, one where you are intentional, right? Otherwise, we could project our fears, project our insecurities, and expect the partner to be responsible for how we feel and fix us, cure us, and all of these things. No, they have their own issues. They're on their own journey too, you know? And so this is just a healthier way to go into relationships. And so that's why I'm so grateful for the self-love journey, this healing journey. But I just wanted to tell you that like, it's easier said than done pretty much not to scare you or anything like that but it's just that you're gonna have to go through the uncomfortable emotions like for me insecurity can arise because from the outside looking in it could be like oh you're so beautiful you're so intelligent and you're successful or whatever the case might be you're a sweet girl or whatever that's the outside but from the inside it's like insecurities can still arise from just fears, um, past relationships, things I've been through in my life. And so on the spiritual journey and on the self-love journey, it's about becoming aware and then choosing to release your past and release things that have happened. For example, in one of my past relationships, um, my boyfriend cheated on me, right? Okay, and so I found out and it was a whole big deal, you know, the drama of how that goes. And I was very immature back then, so I was attacking the girl basically, and we were going back and forth and he was playing both of us and all that drama, right? Okay, so that was years ago. And I don't think about it like that anymore. But every now and again, I'll dream about it. And so it's like, that's a clue that it's still in the subconscious and a healing practice that I'll do is addressing it head on, okay? Being real with myself, okay, how do I feel about it now? What have I learned since then? Can I embody compassion for myself? Can I forgive? Can I choose to let this go? So I will picture being in front of them and the words that I would speak now and choosing consciously to release it. And this is a healing practice that you can do in your life. But what's not going to heal you is pretending that everything's peachy keen in your life and that we're perfect. No, <laughs> right? So the self-love journey is just about getting to know yourself on the deepest level feeling the uncomfortable things and also 
getting to really appreciate yourself, you guys, because it's not so bad. Like for me, I've discovered talents of mine. I've discovered my strengths. Like I've discovered my own beauty, like inside and outside, embraced it. It's helped me work on my confidence, my execution towards my dreams, like my goals. So much focus, so much just this amazing time in my life. And so I'm so grateful. Understanding myself, my empathy and my purpose, what I choose to do, attracting my soul tribe, attracting true love and the souls I was intended to meet on this journey, being in alignment and all of this because of my self journey self-love journey, all of this because of my spiritual journey, spiritual awakening, celibacy journey, becoming so sober, learning who I am and embracing that and letting myself bloom and thrive and be in my power, connect with you beautiful souls, so beautiful. And so I encourage you to go on a self-love journey, learn how to purify yourself, be close to yourself, heal yourself, before getting into a relationship. And then also it's gonna grant you so much clarity. I'm more clear on the type of partner I'd want. You're able to see and decide, like you're making a conscious choice on who you would want to be in a relationship with. And a relationship is a huge deal. It's not just like, oh, whatever, especially sex, like partnership, marriage, like it's a big, really big deal and so, Work on yourself first and then you will attract a healthy partner when it's time, you know, but do the work on yourself. Drop me a comment. Let me know how are you working on yourself right now? How is your self-love journey going? How do you embody self-love for yourself? Is it affirmations? Is it like a health routine, like a spiritual relationship? Do you journal? Like, how do you practice self-love in your life? I'm curious to know. So I'm sending you so much love, so much healing, so much power on your journey. Take care of yourself. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.